with pretty much every headline out there about to be taken up by Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk as it's fight week for the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world, I thought to myself, it's probably best I get these predictions in nice and early for the undercard fights that interest me. Otherwise everything is just going to get lost in fight traffic for Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk. So up first we got Frank Sanchez versus Agit Caballero. For me personally, it's a fight that I can't wait for. It's got two almost unknown quantities there. Like we've seen Agit Caballero, he's kind of peaked at Mahmoudov level, but no one really knows how good Mahmoudov is. And then you've got Frank Sanchez, his best win up until today is probably FA Ajagba. I mean, it's a decent enough win, but realistically, there's probably another 40 heavyweights out there that could beat FA Ajagba. So how good is Frank Sanchez really? And the answer to that question is, we don't really know. I mean, we're going to find out how good he is compared to someone like Agit Caballero come Saturday. But on the flip side of that coin, as I just said, like Agit Caballero, he's almost an unknown quantity as well. So this could be fight of the night. It could be a dud. There could be knockouts. There could be blood. There could be nothing. I don't know what the hell is going to happen. But all I know is I want to find out. But to be honest with you guys, if I'm being real here, if it wasn't for Agit Caballero's performance against Mahmoudov, and even that, like, we don't really know how good Mahmoudov is or was or maybe, if you know what I mean. Just he looks like a mean MF. And because of that, like psychologically, Agit Caballero's win against him is a big win. But realistically, how big is it? And if you remove him from Agit Caballero's resume, then there's really nothing there to suggest that he's even at any level that almost resembles anywhere near Frank Sanchez is at. But you've got that one win there, which kind of artificially inflates him to fringe world level, if you know what I mean. So I don't really know how good Agit Caballero is. If you look at his resume minus Mahmoudov, it's a load of crap. There's nothing on there of note. I think there's like a Chisora win maybe eight, nine years ago, and that's basically it. So going off looking at the path that he's taken, there's nothing there to suggest that he'll give Frank Sanchez any problems, but that's just me probably talking out of ignorance because while I can look at a box rec and get an idea of roughly what the guy's about or what level he's been fighting at, it doesn't tell you what kind of a fighter he is. Now, I've only ever watched two of his fights, and that was a... The Derek Chisora fight and B, the Mahmoudov fight. So realistically, I don't know enough about Agit Caballero to maybe make a fair judgment on his career, if you know what I mean. But ultimately, I'm backing Frank Sanchez because Frank Sanchez for me is probably a top three heavyweight. And I think this may well be his coming out party. I think he's got some decent pedigree, Frank Sanchez. Obviously, he come through the Cuban system. So skill for skill, in my eyes, he has to be better than Agit Caballero. Caballero is a German Kurd, I believe, uh, Neither nation or people are known for necessarily having great amateur boxing systems as far as I'm aware. So pedigree wise, he's not going to be on the same level as Frank Sanchez. But he may be able to out hustle him or out man him. I don't know, but we're going to find out. That's kind of what, why I'm interested in this fight because there are questions that I don't know the answers to. I think I know the answer to them, but I'm not sure. And come Saturday night, I'm going to get to find out personally. I'm going to have my questions answered. So for me, it's an interesting prospect of a fight and I'm looking forward to it. So over to my prediction. How do I think this fight's going to go? Well, I'll tell you one thing I'm not going to do straight off the bat. I'm not going to come out and say that I think Frank Sanchez is a top three heavyweight and then bet against him after admitting that the guy he's fighting for me is a bit of an unknown quantity. That's not going to happen. So for me, Frank Sanchez all day long. But it's a case of does he soundly beat him on a 12-round unanimous decision or does he break him down and knock him out later in the fight? I don't think it will go early personally. I think that while Caballero is live, he's a big unit. He can probably take a bit of punishment. But as the fight goes on, his stamina drains. The chance of him getting knocked out, I believe, is far more likely. And that's potentially what may happen. See, with Frank Sanchez, like I don't know if this is a common feeling or if it's just something that I get. But I almost get the impression that a lot of people think he's purely a boxer. And they don't consider him a puncher. Yet he has a very good punch and he's very powerful and he has a decent knockout ratio. So I think that Frank Sanchez is going to basically outbox Agit Caballo comfortably for the first half of the fight. Maybe get like a 5-1 lead going into the second half of the fight. And then he's going to up the tempo. And I think when you combine that with Agit Caballo and his resistance maybe starting to fade in the second half of the fight. I think Frank Sanchez is going to start dominating in the second half of the fight. Landing the bigger punches and eventually getting Agit Caballo out of there. For me personally, I, if I had to put a round on it, I would say round 9, maybe 10. And if it is going on past that, I suspect it's going to be a one-sided beatdown. And I wouldn't be surprised if the towel comes in and the referee jumps in and stops it. This is Frank Sanchez's coming out party as far as I'm concerned. He's got the best platform. There's like seven or eight different networks or whatever it is showing this globally. It's on the undercard of the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. And if Frank Sanchez was ever going to pull out a magical performance, a class performance, something to make a statement, I think it's going to be on May 18th. So I got Frank Sanchez dominating, schooling and eventually stopping 
Agit Caballo in round 9 or 10 to go on and announce himself as a very serious contender to the heavyweight throne. Incidentally, I believe this is either an eliminator or a final eliminator, so it's one step close to the winner for a world title shot. That's all I got for this one, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, but don't. I'll catch you on the next one. Love.